What was supposed to be this spring became this fall, and what was supposed to be a pretty location has now become these amazing studios, as well as the digital space. Games Week Berlin is always eager to adapt and bring you the conference atmosphere, despite the challenging situation we're facing. And ladies and gentlemen, my name is Melik Melibayg, and I'm your host, and I have the honor of welcoming amazing guests uh, throughout the next hour. It's going to be amazing, so please stay tuned if you drop by via our Twitch front page. You're going to learn a lot. So, And with that in mind, I want to welcome uh, a guest here. Not sadly here in the studio, because at first it was planned to be here in the studio. Uh, Thorsten Wiedemann will be with us from Amaze. And there he is already. Thorsten, thank you so much for joining us, at least via video call. You were supposed to be here on site. What happened? Um, I, I'm just a little bit sick the last days, and um, I just uh, decided to not come. Uh, because I don't want to infect anyone. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just, um, yeah, to be just fair to everybody to and be safe, that everybody should be safe. So it's better to stay at home. That is very, very amazing from you. Thank you so much for taking care of the people around you. But nevertheless, due to the internet and the magic of the internet, we're still able to talk and see you even here in the studios. And uh, Thorsten, we already mentioned Amaze earlier today. And well, you are the organizer of Amaze. Uh, can you tell us a bit more about you and your role? Um, I'm, I'm the founder of, uh, of Amaze, um, basically, as well, it's a little bit of a history and I always like to talk about it because Michael Liebe, I know him already since almost 10 years and uh, we work together on Amaze, we uh, founded together Amaze, so uh, he's the co-founder of Amaze and we worked for about two or three years together to make Amaze what it is in the past and then, uh, uh, um, so now, we are, now, now I'm working on my own project, the Amaze Festival, and I'm super happy that it's kind of started like that and we still work together with the Games Week and uh, it's great to be part of the Games Week. It's a fantastic event. It's just sad that we are not working anymore time-wise together, so the COVID spread us, um, but we still work in some ways together and hopefully as well in the future. I know when talking about one owns baby, um, one tends to be a bit more well specific and into detail. But could you tell us in two sen sentences for all the people, well, for the few people that don't know what Amaze actually is, what Amaze is? <laughs> yes, Amaze is a big celebration of art, games, and playful media. We are celebrating games from all over the world. We see it not as a product, we see it as an art form. We bring people together from all the places. They're talking about the creation process, they're talking about their meaningfulness in the games. And uh, we are really, really want to push forward the art house market in video games. It's very important because for me, I like the art house film market, I like the art house films and the movies, and it should be as well a market for games there. And this is something what Amaze is working on. So we put together video games with immersive installations, with interactive art, and as well, virtual reality. And we have a lot of music. And everything is happening in Berlin this year, online, total digital. It was a success. It was in July. It was fantastic. And uh, next year is going to be, hopefully, hybrid, mm -hmm. at least hybrid. So we do something digital. And on the other side, we have a nice whatever come together. So let's see what we can do next year. Yeah, that was almost two sentences. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for the wrap up. Um, but, you all <laughs> but you all also brought a video. Let's have a look on the video. Yes. Thank you.
Uh, Torsten, I must say we saw a lot of people enjoying a maze and it was all smiles and happy faces. How proud are you seeing those pictures? Um, I, I, I mean, it's two years ago and uh, I, I like the video a lot. It's, it's very hectic and it shows that everybody's happy. It's, it's sad that it's not going to be like that in the next years. So, but um, we have an amazing, amazing space. We built something digital and uh, um, we invited a lot of people to come into this digital space. It's a, it's a 3D multiplayer game where we can also play games and meet and talk. Um, it's different, yes. It's, uh, I like to hug people. I like to hug people. This is very important for me. I need to have this connection to people. I need, want to talk to the people face to face. And uh, uh, it's weird that we can't do it now. So, um, yes. I'm proud of all these pictures, yes, but this is the past. We have to look into the future. The future is bright. The future is digital and, and as well physical. So, and we can do it. And I like VR as well. I like to meet avatars. I like to talk to avatars. I like to meet digital people. And um, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm excited for the future. So everything is fine. And I really, really, really love Games Week as well. And uh, um, I, I wish the best for the Games Week. And it's going to be an amazing. That, two days. that that's uh, that sounds amazing. And uh, as you already said, there are exciting times ahead of us, and we're going to venture into yes. those exciting new realms of the digital spaces and enjoy um, yes. these amazing experiences in VR. And someday, maybe we'll be able to get back. But for now, the future's bright. Thank you so so much for taking time out of your day, and we wish you all a speedy recovery and hope to see you soon in person and maybe in. Thank the, you very much. In the distant or maybe near future, we'll hug it out uh, then, all right? Okay. okay, wonderful. Thank you very much. <laughs> Perfect, Torsten. Take care. Bye. Love you all. <laughs> all right, Bye -bye. guys. Ciao. That was uh, founder of Amaze, Torsten Wiedemann. And yes, now it is time to welcome another guest here on site in the studios. And for that, I'm going to take you with me over to my beautiful breakfast buffet. And of course, my beautiful guest, Andrea Peters mm -hmm. from Medianet. Thank you so much for joining us. And um, well, uh, it's. It's, it's, it's already like a bit, a bit of, um, well, a heavy heart, but we're going to talk about it in just a few seconds. And Andrea, can you tell us what you connect with uh, Amaze? With Amaze or with the yeah. Games Week or with everything? We'll with start the, with, with, the with Amaze and we'll go to yeah. Games Week and oh. just pour out your heart. We want yes. to hear from you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, thank you for the for the invitation, and I'm very happy to see some people um, around here in this in this great studio. Um, yes, as as most of you know, I'm I'm running MediaNet, and part of MediaNet is the GamesNet, which was also founded uh, together with with Michael Liebe and also with the Medium Board. I think around about eight years ago. The idea behind it, because we 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 realized that the games industry was growing in in the area. Um, over all the years, uh, we said, okay, there there has to be a games net, there has to be a, a network, which gives uh, the the industry the opportunity to get connected uh, during the whole year, and and that was really the idea behind uh, games net. Meanwhile, it's more than 100 companies joining us, and. Uh, we do lots of events, as you all know, and we are also part normally with the matchmaking dinner during the Games Week. And what we also do is that we help uh, organizers or events like Games Week and Amaze to get more visibility. Um, so this is what, what we are doing for the industry. Okay, now we know about Medianet, but uh, can you tell us a bit more about your role? My role as, yeah. as managing director or CEO is really to, yeah, more or less, yeah, being connected to the companies, to have an ear to, to their needs, to create ideas for common events or initiatives out of it. And at the end, my, my, the role of, 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 of myself and my team is really to bring these ideas uh, on the street, to get them financed, um, sometimes with public money, sometimes uh, with money from the industry. So this is mostly what I'm doing um, during my day. Mm. And Andrea, we're happily chatting away about Amaze, about Games Week Berlin, about Medianet and your role. But um, very sad news reached me, I must admit, and because <laughs> there is a, a change going to happen in your yes. life. Yes, 
it. I will. I will leave media net at Why? the end. Why? Yeah, because after after 13 years, um, it it was an amazing time. Really, it was. It will always the time in my in my uh, business life, which will be very important for me and also for my career. Um, but at the end, um, I have to do something new. It's. It's. I have 10 years left to to go to work, and I made the decision to um, yeah to do something else. Um, but I'm very very happy to to stay in Berlin, to stay uh, within the uh, the industry. Uh, the company I join is also a MediaNet member, so I I feel very connected. Oh. And you're not too far away. I'm not too far away, and I will I will join all the events, and I'm always there. Okay. And currently, oh we're seeing a lot of amazing <laughs> pictures from one of your events. Currently, this is I think last year's uh, matchmaking, matchmaking dinner. dinner. I was looking if I could find me, but I didn't manage because I was there as well. And I enjoyed it very, very yeah. much. Thanks again for the invitation last year. Yeah. And Andrea, I mean. Um, can you tell us about a bit more about the amazing projects you worked on? I think the 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 matchmaking dinner is a very good example that that dinners always works very very well. We have other formats like the investors dinner or the media dinner or the creative dinner and whenever it is a dinner it works very well because I think it's a great mix on um bringing people in such a comfortable environment um offer them uh, good food and good drinks but on the other side ask them really by changing tables to get connected to people which they normally maybe do not meet um, because we, we put really a lot of time and engagement in, in combining interesting tables. So, so I think it's really a pity that the, the matchmaking dinner couldn't take place this year only in a digital way that gives more people the opportunity to join, but it's, it's really a pity. Well, it's something different. It's, it's something different. different. And like like everything this year is different. Exactly. I must say, I was I was um, very surprised when I attended the matchmaking dinner for the very first time last year, that I was randomly well, not randomly, obviously, but I was placed at a table where I met only new people with yeah. being in the industry for almost 20 years yeah. already, yeah. and that was something that that excited me very much because I met amazing people yeah. and I love the switching up after yeah. the first course. And that is a very, very, very great concept you guys came up with. Thank you so much for that. I can yeah. imagine that a lot of people actually profited from that matchmaking dinner as well. Absolutely. It's the feedback we get at, uh, after each of, of these dinners that, as, as you described, um, people are forced to, to talk to new people and at the end they realize, okay, there is a, a connection between us business-wise and um, this is a very good feedback and this is what we, what we like to reach with that. Yeah. Andrea, we're, we're very happy that you're with us in the studio today because there is a surprise, ladies <gasps> and gentlemen. <laughs> Because oh there's God. someone else who wants to join the party here. <laughs> Michael, oh come in, step in. Off. Oh God, do you, you have to you improvise. Need help? Here. Wait, wait, I'll help you. I'll make you stay seated. Stay seated. Stay seated. Okay, I'll just make room for you. Uh, it's all uh, live and spontaneous, uh, and this wasn't planned at all. So. Lars, in case you're watching, this was your idea. Um, so teamwork. It's last idea. <laughs> Lars, um, oh, thank you very much. Chief oh, thank Master you. Of, oh. of what is it? Andrea Peters, BB's best networking. Oh, thank you very much. I was about to say, just like I can't kiss you. No, no. no. Oh, thank you. But very maybe, much. maybe oh Andrea, God. you can you can actually hold it in, in, into the camera to I show do. our audi I audience at home. No. <laughs> there is a there is a there is a book <laughs> a book box full of Ethernet cables. What? Oh, really? It? Well, I mean, <laughs> what is it? And 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 fairy lights. Yes. And of course, the mug. And the yeah. to go, to -go and the cup space oh, and you. the first um, pin we made um, in 2014 it's ah, called okay. international games week berlin ah it changed and well networking obvious right cables lan kabel yes <laughs> okay this is oh, what i need i got it future. i got it oh thank All right. you very much Michael. it's a german pun <laughs> <laughs> because i mean network networking i mean it it works in english as well and yeah. oh. thank you very much it was really always a big yes. pleasure and we We stay connected. We do. We have a lot of together, to talk about English. Yeah. Fun, yeah. We did. <laughs> And successful. Yeah.
with all the fights Bye. and the love yeah, and exactly, everything. Yeah. yeah, I wish you all the best. Thank you. And whenever I can do something, let me know. Maybe yes. you need costumes in the we future. Will everybody the opening. I sponsor. I sponsor the the costumes for the okay. opening ceremonies. Oh. Write okay. it down. <laughs> we'll write it down. We'll write it down. We'll find a way. Andrea, Michael, ah. thank you so much thank for you. being here. Yeah. And guys, you. you'll have time. Uh, you will have a bit of time to to catch up and to bring this to an end because guys. We'll be heading into a very, very oh, short danke. break. So do not run away. It's just enough time to get some snacks and cool drinks or maybe freshen up your coffee. So I'll see you back in just a bit. I think it's roughly th three minutes and 30 seconds. And do not go anywhere. We'll be back. Super.